again, everyone. Welcome back. Well, today I'm going to try something new. I'm going to review three cigars in this one video. Lofty task. Now, this is from ATL Cigars in Atlanta, Georgia. They are an Atlanta-based cigar company, and they are starting to get into the uh, cigar game as far as their own manufacturing and uh, uh, dis distribution. We're going to look at three cigars today. The Good Trouble, the Libertad, and the Magic. They actually have a fourth cigar called Black, but it is currently out of stock, and evidently it sold well. It's not available. But we're going to look at those three, and we're going to condense the reviews. It's going to be actual reviews, but it's just, it's just not going to take a long, expansive time on each one. I'm going to give you the details enough to, you can make your mind up. Their website is atlcigar.co, C-O dot C-O dot com. So if you're interested in these, you can find them there. And all these different cigars I'm, more, I'm going to review come in various sizes. But I'm going to be uh, reviewing these sizes for each one today that you'll see coming up now. By far, this is the largest cigar of the three. Look at that. That's really, really big. Draw is pretty good. Got a little touch of firmness, but uh, I think we can work with it. Starts off with a little apricot, citrus peel, a little brown sugar, and a little earthy leather. Sort of a white pepper at about seven to seven and a half. So that's how you start. Here at the first third, and I thought I was going to have a bad burn issue. As you can see, it is correcting. It is just about corrected. That little piece of a... There. So there we go. We're not bad. Now, uh, the cigar is medium bodied at best. We've still got ap apricot, brown sugar, nutmeg, cream, and light leather with decreased earthiness. Finish is sort of a hazelnut and uh, earthy leather with Average lingering uh, white pepper. The cigar is not bad. It's just not grabbing me a lot, but I'm going to rate 89 for the first third. End of the second third. And the cigar is getting a little more earthy. I would say now we have apricot, light brown sugar, citrus peel, and light leather, which is quite earthy. Finish is uh, quite a bit of earthy leather and a touch of brown sugar. Medium to full body. The cigar at this point is taking a little step back with the earthiness. I'm rating it 87 for the second third. to the end so let's wrap it up had a little bounce back cream notes came back which may help always helps it apricot brown sugar light actually a little more elevated uh, earthy leather and the cream medium to full body maybe a low grade finishes unchanged but a cigar made a little bounce back I'll it would change, move the score up to 88, which is about where I thought, you know, having a cigar it would be. So guess what? The overall score is 88. So the ATL Good Trouble Cananazo, six and a half by 56, 88.
All right, next up we have the Magic. Uh, this is their newest cigar. It only came out about a month ago. So that's what we'll be looking at doing next. Uh, the draw isn't great, so I'm going to use the perfect draw to improve it. All right, that's better. Uh. Well, the notes I'm really getting are sort of a crab apple, brown sugar, nutmeg, and semi-sweet chocolate. There's black pepper at about seven to seven and a half. That's the notes I'm getting. I'll, we'll see how it develops. Well, we're here at the first third. Flavors I'm getting now are sort of an apricot slash pear, brown sugar, light citrus peel, nutmeg, and a little semi-sweet chocolate. The finish is a um, pear and black coffee. It's funny you get black coffee on the finish, not so much on the front end. Very good lingering black pepper. Medium, leaning toward medium to full. Cigar is pretty good, albeit a little bit different, but um, I'm starting it off at 93. It's a very intriguing cigar with nice notes, different notes, but I like that. I like different. So, uh, by the way, this video that you're watching is being shot over three days, not one day. So, there are three different days of having these cigars. So, uh, first, third, 93. The end of the second, third. Got a few changes. We've got now, I would call it pear, light brown sugar, nutmeg, light leather, and now not so much chocolate, but quite a bit of a full bodied black coffee. The finish is pear and black coffee. Pretty good lingering black pepper. Medium to full bodied. The changes are sort of a net zero gain or loss on the whole 93. It's an interesting cigar, quite dark noted now, and has some sweetness, uh, has some power. Well, we are definitely down to the end. So let's wrap it up. Lost a lot here in the final third. Minor amounts of pear, quite a bit of citrus peel, low levels of brown sugar, light leather, but quite a bit of black coffee. Full bodied. Finish is still pear and black coffee with good lingering black pepper. Lost a lot of sweetness. Still got a little bit, but... Um, kind of lost me in the final third, which is quite a short amount left. And some people don't go that low, but I'd rate the uh, final third 90. Didn't do the cigar in, but it uh, it did knock it back a little bit. So the final score, overall score is 92. Still a good score. So the ATL Magic, available in one size only, 6x54, 92. Today we look at the final installment of the ATL cigars, the Libertad. This is the smallest cigar I have, 5x50. Has a little pigtail cap, and it is the only one with a closed foot. Made in the Agonorsa factory. The Agonorsa leaf folks made this cigar. Of course, with the closed foot, it's not a perfect draw, but I think it'll open up as I'm getting something through there. Well, 
one of the first notes I'm getting are a little citrus, a little cedar, a little pear, a lot of brown sugar, some cinnamon, a dry nutmeg, and I wouldn't even call it a black coffee base. No, there's no black coffee there yet, but there is black pepper at about seven. So it's a nice start. It's a nice sweet start. Very sweet. I like sweet. We're here at the first third and the cigar's flavors are morphing and changing a little bit, but the predominant flavor you're going to get is raisin, sweet raisin, citrus mixed with it, light citrus peel, brown sugar, cinnamon, and a chewy, thick nutmeg at the tail end. Medium body. The finish is some of that raisin and nutmeg with pretty good lingering black pepper, but the cigar is just really tasty. At this point, I rate it 95. End of the second third. Burns a little off, but the cigar has changed. It's, um, I don't really have a lot of uh, raisin notes anymore. The overall sweetness is really dipped. And uh, you've got light raisin, light citrus, brown sugar, cinnamon, increased nutmeg. And now there's black coffee at the base. Pretty close to full bodied. It's really made a jump. There's light raisin and nutmeg on the finish with good lingering black pepper. But the... Uh, the sweetness really took a dip and the uh, nutmeg really went up. Second third, I read 92. It lost a lot in the second third. So we're down to the end, so let's wrap it up. Cigar kept changing and not in the right direction. There are hints of citrus now, hints, hints of brown sugar, a dab of cinnamon, an overwhelming amount of dry nutmeg and black coffee. Full bodied finish is nutmeg primarily and uh, nice lingering black pepper. But a cigar just started out like gangbusters with 95, and it's just gone downhill ever since. Final third, I rated 87. You heard that right. Rarely do I find a cigar that changes this drastically, but this one did. Your overall score is 91.33. The first third is fantastic. But after that, it goes downhill. So there you have it. There's three of the ATL Cigar Company's offerings. You can find them at atlcigar.co.